Hello everyone and uh, welcome again to my vlog side of the channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, the coronavirus because the coronavirus is a huge pandemic that's going around all over the world. And yes, I do live in an area in the United States that does have quite a bit of people who are infected. But before we get started, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it will help me with my uh, medications for coronavirus even though there isn't a vaccine yet. So anyway, for those of you who don't know what the coronavirus is, even though I'm pretty sure all of you do, the coronavirus is a basic, it's fluenza, but it has different symptoms. That's really it. Uh, although it's been taking lots of lives in other countries like Italy and China and places like that. But I live, for those of you who don't know, I live in Utah. And Utah has a high death rate and high infection rates. Well, not a high death rate, but it has a very high infection rate. I think we have about 3,000 infected in Utah, maybe even 4,000. Um, in my area, there aren't any infected, but there are 30 minutes away from me in Rickfield, and there are some in San Pete County, which is about an hour away from me. So, anyway, that's great. Um, another thing is that I'm not really afraid of the coronavirus itself. I'm more afraid of the people who are going to be trying to steal my toilet paper. And I'm also going to be concerned about the people who are just going to be robbing in general because they need food or ammunition or even toilet paper like I just said. So that being said, I'm very concerned for humanity. Very. And uh, yeah, so I'm not sick. No one in my family is sick, actually. So that's good, you know. Um, but I have friends who travel around a lot. A friend named Bradley who goes to California and Nevada occasionally to check on his other family. Which, yeah, he's going to see family, but I mean, I have family in Las Vegas, Nevada, and, uh, forgot where it is, uh, no, I don't know. And, but it's in California. I have family all over there, and guess what? I haven't seen them in months because I haven't been able to go over there because of the coronavirus. Now, Bradley, if you watch my channel, which I don't think you do because I don't even think you know I have a channel, be safe, my friend. As to all of you to be safe because the coronavirus is here and it is very dangerous and I am concerned for the health of not only me and my family, but all of you guys who watch my channel because I need you as fans. That's not the only reason why, though, because I actually care about you. And, um, yeah, the coronavirus is kind of crazy right now. The whole world is kind of crazy right now. I can't even go to school. I just do online work from home, which, I mean, yeah, I was already doing in the first place because uh, I go to school that allows you to do it if you're ahead. But I still went to school occasionally to see friends, and I haven't seen friends in months. Not At least not in person. In months. Um... And sometimes I get in fights with my friends because we don't see each other very much, so, like, we aren't used to each other. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But anyway, I will be doing lots of gaming videos now because I can't go anywhere. And there's this huge pandemic going around. Um, so, I got some games yesterday. I got Ark, I got PUBG, I have Halo, of course. So, if you guys want to see me play any of those games, just comment down below if you want to see me play those games. I also have Totally Accurate Battlegrounds, which I don't even know if that's entertaining to watch, even though I'm pretty sure it is, because it's all ragdoll and stuff. I also have CSGO, which, okay, some of these aren't downloaded, I'll download them tonight. So I have CSGO, which isn't downloaded. I have, I also have Minecraft, but, like, who watches Minecraft anymore? I do, but like, I don't know very many people that are like, yeah, I watch my favorite YouTuber that plays Minecraft. No, no, no one does that anymore. And if you do, comment down below if you do, because that would be great. Um, also, the coronavirus hasn't actually taken as many deaths as the flu has last year. So I don't know why people are so concerned about it. I think people are being a little overdramatic about this whole coronavirus thing. But if they aren't and everyone dies, then just comment down below if you think I'm wrong. Also, 
Yes, I'm recording this in my room. So what? My brother's just chilling. Also, I keep saying that even though it's not also. I have, uh, you know, Warframe. Because of my new computer, I can play a lot more games than I used to be able to. My old computer could hardly run Halo. I did make Halo videos on my old computer, which actually don't look too bad. But you can tell there's some frame drops in there, and now it runs it completely smooth. So, I can play anything, really. Arc is a little glitchy, uh, but I turn the settings down, and it runs decently smooth. Although, there's a screen tearing problem that I can't really seem to get rid of, even though I can't find a V-Sync option. Besides the points, yes, I'm doing lots of gaming videos. You're welcome. And another thing about the coronavirus is, is that I can't get out of the house, and I get very bored when I can't get out of the house. And I've been wearing these same clothes for like three days because uh, there's no point in changing because no one's going to see me anyway. I just put them in the washer and then wear them again because they're my favorite set of clothes and it's not like anyone's gonna be like, uh, you wore those clothes yesterday. Anyway, but the coronavirus is very I should say, very uh, dangerous when it comes to spread of infection. Now, if you guys just stay at home, you won't get sick. Trust me, you won't. And I know there's some people that are like, yeah, I don't want to stay home. It's boring. It doesn't matter. Is it worth getting sick and then getting all your friends sick and then dying or like not dying but getting very sick and it's painful? Now, the coronavirus does only mainly affect elderly or sick people. Um, there's been hardly, there's been some infants that have gotten it, but like, that's like, there's only a couple and really there's no cases of small children. Um, the only cases with children are the ones that have like diabetes or asthma. There's also the children that have like other diseases. So, it weakens their immune system and opens up for the coronavirus, which is very sad. I am very healthy, so I don't have, I probably won't have any problems. I, like, I'm not, I have a very strong immune system. I hardly ever get sick. When I do, it's always when it's a really bad virus, which, yes, technically the coronavirus is a very bad virus, but it's not, if you think about it, it hasn't. I'm, I'm not going anywhere where I'd get the coronavirus. In fact, I hardly go anywhere at all. I only go up to visit my other property in Indianola, Utah, but literally it's in an area where no one lives. Uh, it's in Hideaway Valley and no one lives there, so. Well, by no one I mean like maybe 100 people and it's scattered about the mountains. Um, yes, we go to the store sometimes, but we do the pickup delivery. We don't actually go inside the stores. And if my parents do have to go inside the store, they don't bring the children with them. And my dad tends not to go inside the store because he has muscular dystrophy. Anyways, guys, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down what you want me to do next. And I'll see you guys in the next one.